Greetings to all! Welcome to Tahiti Monday. I am Shenanigans, and in this series of This Is How I Do It, I am going over Counter-Strike Sources The Hidden. This video will be about Subject 617 Strategies for the Improving. What we need to start doing is to run literal circles around our opponents. Since we have the ability to pounce and go much faster than the Iris members, we need to maximize this advantage. The basic loop around is a clear example of the advantage of mobility. By attacking from one distinct location and then engaging from another location, we can catch the Iris members looking the wrong way and unprepared. One of the best parts about the loop around is that you don't even have to be in the starting location. Throwing a grenade or throwing a prop is just as effective as being there yourself. Also, your loop around doesn't have to be instantaneous. Iris members take a good amount of time to scan over an area they last saw you in. Don't feel like you're too late if the route is too long. In fact, the longer your route is, the more unlikely it is for Iris members to expect you to come from that route. The loop around can also be effective against campers. If the location has enough entrances, then coming in from a different entrance each time keeps the campers guessing. When they don't know where to look, they may even become uncomfortable enough to leave the camping spot entirely. Try to blend in as many disorienting tactics as you can. Throw props, swipe them, throw grenades, do whatever it takes to add to the confusion. The chaos is your friend. Feeding on bodies is another good establishment for the loop around. Whether an Iris member is just watching in the direction of the body, or comes in looking to stop you, the loop around can still be used. Speaking of campers, let's get a little bit more comprehensive on that topic. You may come across a decent group of players that camp loosely together, or don't fall for the regular luring tactics. Or you may come across a map that favors the Iris members rather than Subject 617. The best way to handle these situations is to use the Iris members' tactics against the Iris members. Since Iris members will try to bait you out, try bouncing from one Iris member to the next, only swiping each one once. Bouncing from one target to the next slowly tangles their baiting network. Once the network has become confused, take down individual targets that have been drawn out of position. Never stay in one place for too long. If the Iris members do get clumped up from your efforts, throw a grenade or do a loop around. This will allow you to repeat the process freshly. You may also come across the Hard Camper. These are usually very bad players and are easily dealt with so long as you know how. Here we have an Iris member sandwiched in a corner with a triple arm. How attractive. Initially, use props to get them to waste their ammo. Do whatever is needed to empty their clip. Make noise, break or move the props, whatever. Once they are reloading or they switch to their secondary weapon, move in for the kill. Landing on their head is usually the best approach. Even if they already have their secondary drawn, they will not be able to do enough damage to you before you kill them. If your health is low, take the time to find another body and feed. I assure you the camper is not going anywhere. And if you ever come across a camper situation that you just don't want to engage, there is always the grenade. It's always good to save at least one grenade just for such an occasion. Once the Iris members are blinded, charge on in and take them out. Just be mindful of any other Iris members in the area who might be baiting you. There is a use for grenades other than hitting clumps of Iris members. The Panic Grenade can be used defensively to cover your escape. If you ever find yourself in a bad situation, such as, you know, being surrounded by well-armed Iris members at high health totals, all you need to do is throw a grenade at the ground and get the hell out of there. The Iris members in the blast won't be able to see you escaping, and the explosion will distract the other onlookers who would otherwise see your escape. There are some maps where the Subject 617 spawn and the Iris spawn are close enough that you can do my favorite grenade tactic, the Nade Rush. The Nade Rush is best used on Iris members who are sluggish at the get-go. Simply pounce your way to the Iris spawn as quickly as possible and let that grenade fly. You can easily get around 200 damage with this grenade, and on a full server you can even get around 300 damage. The strength in this tactic is creating early confusion and generating one-hit kills for later in the round. Confusion can also be generated by being aggressive. If shotguns are the primary choice of weapon for the Iris members, speed is your ally. Weaken and disorient the group with the grenade, and then go in for all the kills. Hack at each Iris member until they are dead, and don't let up until the whole group is gone. Utilize the tactics we've covered previously to take as little damage as possible. Once the group is dead, you'll be free to feed on all the bodies and regain any health you lost in the process. If the Iris members are primarily using rifles, the slow play can be effective. There's nothing wrong with going back to basics and just taking out each Iris member as the opportunities present themselves. And in situations where the Iris members are quite skilled, this is actually the only way to guarantee success. 
take out one Iris member at a time, and remember all the tricks we've discussed. And that is how I did it! Subject 617 Strategies for the Improving! Learn to adapt to each Iris member as you play out the rounds. Learn which tricks they use and turn those tricks against them. Identify if the group is mostly skilled or mostly amateur and adjust accordingly. And don't forget to change up your tactics now and again to keep yourself as unpredictable. And don't forget to learn those map layouts either. Memorizing the maps is really your greatest weapon as Subject 617. So don't forget to take the time to learn the layouts, which is the topic of the next Tahiti Monday the Hidden. Thanks for watching, and tell them Shen sent ya. Confusion can also be generated by being aggressive. Be aggressive. Never stay in one place for too long. If the Iris members do get clumped up from your efforts, throw a grenade or do a barrel roll!